had a question about a, a formation that we've seen you guys use a little bit the last couple of weeks where you guys are in the shotgun and you have two running backs on the field and there's there, you know, one is alongside the quarterback and then the other is sort of right in front of that guy. And, you know, we're obviously used to seeing you guys use like I formation under center. Yep. I guess what, what are the advantages of, of doing that that way out of the shotgun? Because I, I don't think we see it all that often around the league. So I just was curious about yeah. that. Um, <clears throat> it, it's, it just, it kind of forces the defense to, um, you know, they have to make a decision about how they're going to, you know, cover, um, you know, let's just say that side of the field or the formation uh, in terms of being outflanked. Um, you know, we can run it or throw it from those types of formations, which is beneficial. Um, I think a lot of teams are so tuned into either, you know, both backs in the eye or both backs on one on either side of the quarterback. Sometimes if you just give them a little bit of a different look, um, you know, they have to communicate a little differently if they're playing zone defense, potentially with both backs on the same side, you're talking about a three man surface, even though there's only one, one receiver over there. So what, what starts as a single receiver side could, could quickly become three receivers, you know, in a heartbeat, uh, depending on how you choose to employ them. So um, it's just something we've played around with for the last, we've actually played around with it for the last couple of years. Um, but, you know, we, we used it a little bit on Sunday. Um, I feel very confident about our backs. Um, I think they're productive players when they're in the game uh, and they can give us yards, whether that's handing them the ball, throwing it to them, uh, they certainly all are willing blockers in protection. So um, having two guys in there, you know, is never something that I'm um, uncomfortable doing uh, because I feel like it just gives us another opportunity to put good players on the field and and rest some other guys. And and so that formation obviously is something that we've we've kind of tinkered around with, and we're going to try to continue to tinker around with some things like that. Is there is there a name for it? What should we be calling it when we see that? <laughs> There's definitely name. We have names for the formations. Um, I don't think I could share that secret with you, but uh, you make up a name. I don't care. Call it whatever you want. Yeah, we we kind of we put them we put them in different spots too. Sometimes they're weak. Sometimes they're strong to the tight end side. So they're not always the exact same location. So, um, but we've we've tried to, uh, like I said, we're trying to expand what we do and how you know. And and again, this is a part of the year where. If you can just add another another element to your to your game to your scheme, um, it gives the defense maybe something fresh that they haven't prepared for um, at this point in time of the year. Maybe you can gain a small advantage and, and kind of you know keep them off balance a little bit at this point in time. <clears throat> Got it. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate it. Yep.